just before we start, I would like to say that this is purely my opinion. These are my favorite top 10 Jutsus in Naruto. So if yours didn't make the list, um, oh well, <laughs> go make your own list, all right? Well, let's get into it. Coming in at number 10, we have Water Gun Jutsu. Now, um, I did a previous video to showcasing Water Gun Jutsu, man. It's one of my favorite techniques in all of Naruto. So it, it had to make this list, right? Um, you shoot water through your fingertips, and just like a gun, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, who, who doesn't like that? I mean, it was um, coined by the Hozuki clan. So, you know, big, big miss people. So it's pretty cool, man. I really love the technique. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that is my number 10 is Water Gun Jutsu. Coming in at number nine is Expansion Jutsu. Now, this is some of my favorite Jutsus. Again, um, Expansion Jutsu is amazing. Um, what you do is essentially you're just growing, right? <laughs> um, any limbs, anything from your body, as far as just even you can go giant, all right? You can even be giant, which is crazy. But most of the time, the Akimichi clan, they usually do hands, feet things like that um expansion jutsu for the ladies you know what i'm saying for the ladies you know the ladies love it what the heck's wrong with you you idiot saying stuff like that right now um but yeah <laughs> expansion jutsu is amazing uh i really like it in the game like i said you can go tall big it's versatile so yeah that 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 that's amazing all right well that's my number nine Coming in at number eight is Lighten Boulder Jutsu. All right, now this Jutsu is amazing. All right, um, what essentially is you just you can lighten things as far as your body and you know your structure, molecular structure, how it goes, and you can you know make your body so light that it is able to fly high speeds or you know what I mean. It's great, and um, it has another effect which is one of my other favorite Jutsus. We'll get into that in another video, but for this, it is Lighting Boulder Jutsu. I like it when Noki used it. Um, he used it to fly, zip around, you know, get good attacks and hit data or that one time. Um, it was really, it's really good to utilize. And it's cool because you can also lighten things, you know what I mean? And you can also make people light so that they can fly with you. So, I mean, it's very versatile, right? And it's a good technique, man. I really like this Jutsu. Coming in at number seven is, bear with me, Dustless Bewildering Cover. I know, right? What the f***? But um, it's good, right? Essentially, uh, Moo uses it. He's just um, the second Tsutsukage. But um, you become invisible, which is amazing. It's like uh, bending the light, you know, the rays and all this scientific junk, right? And I don't know how. But um, as far as I know, he's the only person who knows how to use it. Now, there are similar techniques where people in the show go invisible. Um, you know, Orochimaru had some technique, um, Heate had some technique, they, they, well, it's like camouflage for them, but it's not really going invisible. Moose, his was actually going invisible, there was no trace, you know, they called him Mr. No Trace, like there was no trace of him, right, and not even sensory types could get him, it took like Gara, I think, to be able to sense him, right, and uh, that's a Kazakage, right, like that's how much levels he is, like, right, he had no trace on him, so that's one of my favorites, it's so utilized. It can be so utilized in battle. It's it's you're basically the ultimate ninja with that with stealth <laughs> with, with becoming invisible. So that's one of my favorite moves. Um, yeah, he can go invisible, much like this picture of what I thought I got of John Cena, but yeah, apparently not. It's just a uh, crowd and some ropes. Yeah, move and uh, I'm just gonna say it. it's invisible jutsu. Number six, um, we have one of my favorite techniques, all right, is wind blade. Now, this could be wind cutter, wind blade, I'm really too particular on the words, but it, it it's works out the same, right? Using wind style and using that wind to cut, like using the air to cut, it's crazy, right? Um, Baki used it, it was amazing, and he that's how he killed um, Heate. Yeah, I <laughs> just see it right here, got him, man. See, man, that's what happens when you're lacking. And you know, Danzo used it similar to in this battle with Sasuke. Um, Tamari uses it and she cut a like a beast's leg, like right. So I mean it is it is amazing. It is amazing. You can cut multiple opponents at once. I really like this technique, right? Um wind style well just wind release is my favorite nature. So just wind in general. So I, I really like this technique, right? But yeah. Number five, we have Almighty Push. 
Yes, that's right. Shinra Tensei. Yes, um, <laughs> it was utilized a lot by Pain. Like, this was his go-to thing. Like, this thing can repel anything. That's what the jutsu does. It repels. Now, there's another jutsu that, you know, makes you get over here, like Scorpion. But, again, for another video. But for this, we're going to be shining all over. This thing devastated a whole village. It destroyed a whole village. That's how powerful this thing was. No one knew what it did. Um, it took, like, Kakashi to figure it out. It was, it was amazing. All right, pain utilizes this very good. All right, it only takes five second intervals, and then you're done, man. You get beat up, Orochimaru, everybody, you get beat up. Shinra Tensei, all right, Almighty Push coming in at number four is Shadow Clone Jutsu. All right, now, um, I'm not just gonna Shadow Clone Jutsu is amazing, especially when Naruto uses it. Um, that's that's the best guy to use is Naruto, right? Um, but the variations of Shadow Clone Jutsu and the properties are amazing, and that's why I put it so highly up on the list is because honestly, you have Water Clone Jutsus, you know what I mean? You have um, who can't forget Hashirama's Wood Clone Jutsus, right? You have so many variants of different Jutsus and clones that you can make of this. It is it is so cool that the information, if, how many clones you make. They can do things and the information can come back to you is amazing just it's so versatile i can think of like a million things to do with this jutsu right and i know you guys could too right this is a fan favorite and it's one of my favorites too i'm not gonna lie man this is very cool they utilized it well in the show as well as naruto man and nobody used it like naruto so shadow clone jutsu number three impure world reincarnate oh, look man um edo tensei I, I don't care reanimation jutsu look <laughs> reanimation jutsu um falls in line with that shadow clone to me like that's why i put it here it's number three because it's a little better right now with this this jutsu is forbidden it's one of those forbidden ones that was made by toriyama or toby rama excuse me and it really you know orochimaru used it and it was really perfected by kabuto right now you're bringing back dead people which is crazy i mean loved ones people you hated it just the, it was so utilized great it started a whole it could spark a whole war you know the fourth war you know they had a war over this stuff you know bringing back dead people like asuma bringing back a lot of great dead people man um i wish they would brought back some you know some great dead people you know, you know but that's neither here nor there but um i really like this jutsu <laughs> you can make up a million things to do with this thing right that's why i was forbidden it is very powerful and then, uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite things out here, really. It really turned the plot of Naruto. It really changed it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Reanimation Jutsu. Number two is Flying Raijin, all right? Now, Flying Raijin is amazing, all right? <laughs> now, Mini tells one of my favorite characters, but Flying Raijin is so dope. It's so broken. It is ridiculously broken. Who remembers when he used it against A and A couldn't land anything, right? <laughs> he could land anything. Who remembers him facing off? Only this juice who can face off against a thousand shinobi, right? Come on, a thousand shinobi. This thing is so hacks. All you do is put a seal down and you can go to that seal forever. And you can instantly teleport to that uh, seal. Instantly teleport, okay? It beat even you know even another great jutsu is just seeing right here man it is so fast and it's so so broken man and it was utilized beautifully by minito all right this jutsu is amazing it struck fear in people they were warned not to even come around this man that's how feared and broken this jutsu is and it is number two man i really love this jutsu flying raijin you know and toby rama had it and it, Minito just perfected it, man. Making it even more broken. Ah, man. And number one, one of my favorite jutsus in all of Naruto is Kamui. Yes, Kamui. It's my favorite jutsu, right? Utilizing the Sharingan, Obito uh, can, you know, go into another dimension. Not only that, but can be intangible to all attacks. All attacks. With a certain part of his body, he puts into another dimension. Thus, you can't even hit him or he can't be attacked but he can attack you he can use it properly so so well that he can you know be intangible not be intangible and was able to go one-on-one -on -one with then the hokage at the age of like 13 
this thing is broken all right kami is so broken man i love it it's my favorite technique just the kamuyi just the his the way he says it the way it does you just the way he leaves and he teleports away man this is amazing you could teleport people inside the dimension you could you know what i mean you, he survived conan <laughs> in like 15 billion paper bombs exploding for 10 minutes this thing is amazing and this is why it is my number one well i hope you guys enjoyed this man i'm gonna do another one again another top 10 man we'll see how it goes but uh i thank you guys for rocking with me again if yours didn't make the list i am so sorry but i would really like to know what is your top 10 or what jutsus do you guys like if i missed anything like whoa what about this custom hey man Put it in the comment section, man. Let me know, Lynn. Let me know. I really want to know. But uh, these are my favorite juices, man. I'll see you on the next episode, all right? Peace. Put those fires in the chat. Put those feelings in the chat. Put those thoughts in the chat. Put those blessings in the chat.